Have you ever wondered what the heck is all the space on your map? And why it takes a lot of your storage? And you can't find anything to delete. And in this video, I'll show you two ways that you can clear a bunch of this space on your map. Let's take a look. So before we begin, I will highly suggest you to turn on the time machines or create a backup for your computers because you might delete sensitive contents or files related to the system that may cause you troubles. Now we begin with the first step. You will access to about this map, storage and click on manage. So we have few tabs over here. The first thing is turn on the auto optimize storage and empty charge automatically in the recommendation tab. So a lot of people who just wait to use Mac OS, they might not know that they have to empty the charge to remove files permanently. In order to do so, right click to the charge bin and choose empty charge. Now we come back with the system information. Here we'll have applications, documents and photos. In the applications folders, you will see the list of install applications and the one that take the most storage of your computers will be listed on the top. Now just review what applications are important to you and which you are no longer needed and delete. Now take a look at document folders and do the review one more time. At the top of the system information, we have many different files categories, but I used to review them in the large file tab. This tab is a combination of different file types and you can easily check the detail in three columns. It tells you what kind of file it is, how large and what is the last day that you accessed. This is useful because a lot of people don't know that once they complete install any application from the internet, they can remove this image or zip files to free up the max space. So you can delete the file immediately here or check in the finder to see what the file is if you are not really sure about it. Now we have system and other folders. So the system folder always contains sensitive data about your Mac. So normally it will take over 15 to 17 gig of your Mac storage. But don't worry, you don't need to optimize them unless you know what are you doing and what files you are going to delete. Otherwise, just don't touch it. So now we come with the problem that most of us are facing, the others folder. You can see it take over 52 gig of my display, which is pretty much. So now I'm gonna show you how to optimize them. In order to do so, we were using an application we call Omni Disk Sweeper. You can download this free application from the link in the description. So once you're done with the installation, you're gonna need to put a code in the terminal to give the application a full access to your drive. And go deeper on the system then show you all hidden files. So you will copy the code on the description and put on your terminal, type in your password and hit enter. Now the application will then open automatically but don't close the terminal. Now select the disk to sweep. In my case, it's the Untitled 2. Your may be marked in touch AD and select sweep. Now it's take a few minutes to complete sweep your drive, so just wait a little bit. Once the scan is complete, you can start to optimize your drive. But don't delete the file that you don't know. So there are some safe areas that you can remove which is cake of your applications like Autobees or Google. So just delete all of them because it doesn't affect the app performance. The great things when using this disk sweeper is you can dig deeper on your system and delete all the leftover files like app drivers or a system because the application that you uninstall from your Mac might not clean as you thought even though you can't find it through the system information. So now I will show you how to completely uninstall the application that you no longer needed. Now we go to user, library, application support and start to review what application 
or file that you previously delete but still exist over here. In my case, I have deleted the PUBG Mobile's Bomb 3Ds and Parallels but their leftover files are still remaining. And if I don't use this sweeper, I am unable to delete permanently this app. Now if you have more time, you can take a look at other folders but only delete if you know what the file is. And to check, you can click on this icon to show the file in folders. So that is how you can optimize your display. If you think this video is helpful, please like and share to your friend and comment below to me what tricks you like the best to clear your large amount of display. Thank you for watching. This is Tommy and I will see you on the next video.